A group of local religious leaders are coming together to help the community show support for those defending Ukraine. Fox 55's Drew Fry is live at First Presbyterian Church where tonight's vigil was held. Drew. Yeah, Chris, I'm here at First Presbyterian Church on Wayne Street, where earlier tonight I counted about 50 people who were here taking part in this vigil. They sang, they read poetry, and together they joined each other in prayer. I also talked with a Ukrainian woman earlier tonight about her friends and family that she still knows suffering back home and why this ceremony was so important. for Ukraine. Every night they have to go to uh, their basement or to the uh, nearest bomb shelter and uh, sleep there at night with older little kids. Alana Bobik left Ukraine less than five years ago, and though she now lives in Fort Wayne with her daughter, she still keeps in touch with her friends and family who are in fear of the ongoing Russian invasion. I'm just so scared for their lives and their safety, and I feel so uh, helpless, and I'm trying to do whatever I can do. I'm trying to... We're trying to help them financially. We're trying to spread the news. To help spread her message, Pastor Carrie Weinbrenner organized a Thursday night vigil to unite the community in support for Ukraine. It's been tears of hope, tears of support, tears of knowing that I'm not feeling this myself, tears of knowing that we are all going to stand up together for Ukraine um, and we're able to, to put what we need to do forward in, in Fort Wayne showing up for Ukraine. Weinbrenner says Bobik's turmoil has become her own. Through this vigil, she's finding out many in Fort Wayne are sharing similar emotions. I feel so proud and I feel so blessed to be among these people and feel their support. And I know that many people realize that it's not war against Ukraine, it's war against humanity and we're all humans first of all. Bobek says that first and foremost, she's asking for prayer. She still has friends and family in Ukraine, as mentioned before. And while a few of her friends have been able to leave with their children, many are still sheltering in place in Ukraine. She says anyone who's interested in helping out financially should reach out to Pastor Weinbrenner and First Presbyterian Church to get connected. Reporting live in Fort Wayne, I'm Drew Fry, Fox 55 News.